Good morning. Oh, good morning. It's been a right old morning this morning. I can't tell you. Uh, and before you say anything, I know it's back to front. Here we go. Let's have a look. It's coming in. I can't see with these glasses on. I just wait for a few seconds till you all come on. Oh, I've had such a morning already. I can't tell you. Everything's going wrong. Right. Let me just, I'll take these off a bit now because I need to explain to you that I've got a sty on my, so if you've got, uh, if you have your 11s or you've got a weak disposition or weak tummy, look, oh, it's not as bad as it was. It's actually not as bad as it was, but it's not good. It's not good. Now, put my glasses down somewhere now. In all, oh, here you go. Right, okay, now I know what you're gonna say. Let me bring you forward a bit, right? I know what you're gonna, oh no, I don't think to do that, do that. Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. I know what you're gonna say, right? You're gonna say you're back to front. Well, I tried to do the settings for turning it round and it just went blue. I had this like blue sheen over it and I don't know what I've done wrong. So first of all, there's this. Secondly, I know I'm back to front, so I can't work out how to flick it round today without it going blue. Uh, you can't flick it round once you start it, can you? So I don't know what I'm gonna do, but um, oh, I do apologize. I do apologize. How many of you are there already? Oh my word. Right, sorry I haven't said hello to her. Marina's just come in. For some reason, I can't see the writing. The writing's gone really little. I told you it's a bad day today, didn't I? I told you it was going to be a bad day today. So let me have a look. So if I miss out your questions, I do apologise. Hello, Graham. Hello, Gwyneth. Hello, Princess Watson. Oh, I'm not handsome. Look at my eye. It's really horrible. Becky Alexander Frost's watching. Hello, Dillis. Now, have you all got your piece of paper and your pen ready? Because you know what we're doing today, don't you? Because you'll see what's missing. Oh, oh you can't see. Oh, that's what's maybe wrong. The camera's in completely different place, isn't it? Morning, Mick. Morning, Maxine. Um, oh, right, so normally in my window... Oh, thank you. I've worn this shirt on purpose because I'm using lots of bright colours today. Oh, I'm not back to front. Are you sure? Let me hold some writing up, right? Is that back to front or is that the right way round? Thank you, Sally, my love. Hello, Angela. I wonder what's wrong this morning with my eyes. I don't know. Morning, Suzanne and Christine. Shirley. Is that the right way around? Can somebody tell me? Are they the right way around? Hello, Julie. So are they back to front? Lorraine, you'll tell me, won't you? Is that back to front or is that the right way around? Oh, it is back to front. There you go, it is back to front. I'm ever so sorry. It's, I'll just explain, right? When I tried to put it the other way round, the screen went all blue and had like a blue filter on it. And I didn't know if you'd be able to see me properly. Hello, Shaheena. Oh, yeah, back to front. Thank you. So, um, so yes, I know it's back to front and I know I've got a horrible sty, but we're going to have a lovely week, aren't we? Lovely. Back to front. Um, it just wouldn't let me do it. So I'll have to, you don't even get a manual these days, do you, to tell you how to do it. Anyway, shall I tell you what we're making today? Got my foot stuck now in the stool. Uh, oh, my blooming! Uh, you should have seen my eye when I woke up this morning. Thank you, JC. Yeah, back to front. Uh, it was so like, ugh, it was like that. It was awful. It was all clagged together and everything. I'm not quite sure why. I know my hay fever started this week, um, and I know that uh, day this week, and I can't remember what it was. Whether I was in the shower and I got soap in my eye, or I was watering the plants and a leaf hit me in the eye but I remember thinking then oh I hope that doesn't do anything to my eye later in the week anyway yesterday I was watching telly and it started swelling up yeah back to front I know I'll have to have a look at that because I don't know why it went blue I don't know why it all went blue on there but we'll sort it out I'll sort it out anyway so you know you know um normally you can see my back window can't you well it's not it's my front window but it's behind me um so normally you can see you can see that window and there's a rainbow because we've all got rainbows in our windows. Yeah, everything's back to front. Okay, thank you. Yeah, wrong way around. I know, I've got it now. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So it won't matter. It won't matter except when I come to do a, show you a piece of paper later and it's really important. But the reception's good. Oh, that's good, Lorraine. Mrs H is watching. Oh, hello, Stephen. Look at me, funny eye and I can't turn it around. Oh, actually, if anybody's a, a, a guru on iPads. Hello, Pam. If anyone's a guru on iPads, when I went to turn it round, because I've learned how to turn it round the other way, but when I clicked on that, the whole screen kind of went, had a blue filter over it. Dapper, dapper cat, look at my eye. Look at my eye, it's a mess, isn't it? 
Uh, oh yeah, now Carol, I thought that when I was setting up earlier, chattering away to herself, I suddenly looked at it and said I was on air. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I hope I didn't swear or anything like that. Hello Debs, my love. Uh, Stays are a sign of stress. I know, okay, but I'm not quite sure what I've got to be stressed about, unless it's subliminal. Oh, Jeanette says it's hard to hold a pen today. Oh, no. Look at the rainbow fabric on your door. I know we're about to do that. It's not fabric. of Jane Alcock's watching. Now, this is a Jane Alcock-inspired show, this one, everybody. Oh, well, Sally Stevens is watching as well. Oh, we've got all the big wigs in watching today. Rub your eye with a gold ring. I know. I've done that. Got my old wedding ring out. Did that last night. Crazy Lorraine said that as well. Lizzie, are you going to make a pig for the sty? Oh, ha, 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 ha. that's Lizzie who lives down near um, Ali and what's it? Uh, Lynn Tuit, we'll have to catch up later. My friend is on. Yeah, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Uh, you firstly need to go into. Oh, here you go, here you go, here you go. Oh, hang on, hang on. You need to go into the iPad camera setting, the setting before you go live. Well, that's what I did. And it went blue. I'll have a go. I'll have another go later once we've done, we've finished, all right? So. Are we finished saying hello? Who wants Jake? Now the things aren't moving. What have I done? Oh, it's one of those days, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you were trying to sneak in. Deb's having a cup of tea, loving my shirt. No, I didn't swear earlier. Tall Ian's watching. Good morning, John. Listen to them. Oh, sorry. I always come on when the mass is on, don't I? I have the mass on, have the noise on, and just watch me wittering. I, I, I don't know why I can't read these. That might be a bit run down. I might be, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, yes, it's a cup. It's a cup, but it's empty. Look, because I'm doing this. This is my sunrise special. This one. Oh, to be back to front. That's my sunrise special on Tuesday. So don't you worry. Don't you worry. It's not a... Don't know where the best place to put it is. Yeah, it was on my sun. I've moved. Everything's moved, doesn't it? Hang on. I've moved everything. Now. Hang on. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, you didn't even notice why you're very kind. Uh, Karen from Wiggins. Thank you. Poor you, she says. Petra, morning. Good morning, John Scott. Yeah, so there's no tea in it. It's there as an advert. I'll move it when we start sewing. Uh, oh, Lowe's watching. She said I was supposed to put um, a tea bag on it. A, a used tea bag. Clive's watching now. Uh, oh, there you go. Carol says uh, a, a cold tea bag. Yeah, I'll do that later. Wendy, did you see the picture? We had a, an anniversary on um, Facebook yesterday, you and I, didn't we? I don't know what's the matter. Oh, and Mark's watching. Mark's watching as well. Is it not a work today? Mark's my friend who's in um, Great British Zombie. And what are you all excited about, Shahina? Oh, you've joined live for us. Oh, that's good. Oh, now, Anne, that must be your machine. Nobody else has said I'm freezing. In fact, Lorraine said it was good quality today. What's that plant? Oh, the one in there. Don't know. It looks like a coconut, doesn't it? Get a Samsung. I've only just bought this. Jeanette, I've only literally... It cost me thousands. It was so expensive. Right, okay, so now you've all seen my rainbow. It, oh, you like the view? Uh, oh, down there, down my kitchen, you mean? That's because I turned my camera. You'll see more of that in a minute when I start cutting out. Yeah, I'm going to do proper cutting out and everything today. Uh, are you ready for this then? Morning, Elizabeth, my love. So a lot of you seen my um, rainbow in the window and you've all asked about it. You see, here it is. This is what I've had in my window to say thank you to the NHS. And loads and loads and loads of you have been asking how I made it. Morning. Oh, coffee biscuits. Pen and paper ready. Oh, good. Um, was it was it when my camera was turned that way? You'll see more of that in a minute. Yeah, you'll see more of that. Oh, Nikki's watching. Nikki lives in a village near me, not too far away from me. Talking about sewing bee. Oh, stop it, Lou. Uh, Andrew's watching. Lou's got a new range out. Lowe's, Lo, Lo, not Lou. Lowe made me this ring. She's got a new range out, but she's using me now and all my followers to advertise it. Uh, good morning, lovely man. Good to see you. Thank you very much indeed. Behind me. What, that picture on the wall? Do you like that? Oh, hello, Laurie. Oh, yes, hearts. She loves the hearts on my shirt. I'm ever so sorry it's back to front. I couldn't figure out. I'll, I'll ring... Um, Oh, what's she called? Becky Alexander, Frost Frost Alexander later and she'll tell me. Oh, Becky says Mark to win sewing bee. Now that's Thursday mornings we talk about sewing bee. Uh, 10 o'clock on a Thursday morning if you want to come in and gossip about it. Love the rainbow behind you. I'm about to chop that up, Elizabeth. About to chop that up. So, are we ready? Are we ready to make one of these? Right? Now, I've made mine in solid colours, but you can make it in any colour 
you want to really. You can just you can do you can use patterns or it. Oh, actually, let me just show you because Jane Alcock made me. Oh, here you go. This is the same. This is the same. Um, See how she's used patterns in hers and everything. It's the same, um, what's the word? Way of making it. It's the same way of doing it, but she's used patterns and colours as well. Because I do love a Barcello. It's one of the first ones we did at a sewing quarter together, wasn't it? Right, Marciello, Marciello. We'll enjoy show before going to the garden. It's horrible to say what you're going to the garden for. Pla oh, there's no plant behind me. There ain't saying about the plant behind me. Do you mean the one in the window? You can't see the window from here. Anyway, not to worry. I'll start. Mark says hello, everybody. Uh, Deb, fantastic quality live today. Do you know, but it's back to front. It's back to front. That's the only problem. Jules might be able to tell you how to change the camera. Jules who? Our Jules. You Jules Fallon. Should she do this a lot as well? Then? I can norm No, no. I can normally do it, Laurie. But this morning when I went to do it, it went all blue. It went all blue. Mark's just popping in to say, taking the dogs for a walk. Ah, He says, thank you for all his support. He does love it when he was in the Daily Star this week. Yeah. He had his clothes on, don't worry. Uh, your desire, your, oh. Anyway, yeah, I love it with the patterns. Well, Jane made that one for me, but I'm doing one for my window. Okay, should we start? Should we start? Should we start? So, if you want to make this, you need 10 different colours, right? Because what you can do is, at the moment, I've got it in my window, you know, as the, uh, to say thank you to the NHS. But once that's over, not not over, but once we don't have them hanging in the window anymore, um, I'm going to make a cushion out of it, make a cushion cover out of it. Oh, Donna, you all right, my love? Oh, Donna's been struggling. I've had a bad few days, Donna. Yesterday, I couldn't... Oh, sunny in Leeds. Oh, it's horrible here. Well, not horrible. The doors... I've got the door open, but it's not very, not very nice. In... Uh, Limavadi in Northern Ireland. It's nice. Oh, Helen's watching. Helen's got a wedding dress design as well yet. Penny, hello, Pen. Uh, Hayley Darby. Oh, you've got to switch off your work. Switch it off. Right. Okay. So let's get on. Let's get on. I've been here long enough already. We're two in the now. So what you need to do is you need to choose your 10 colours. So you get your 10 colours or your 10 patterns, whatever you want to do. But because I was doing a rainbow for the window... Oh, someone has said, I didn't see you did a pattern one there. North Wales, it's sunny. Oh, it's sunny everywhere except here today then. Anyway, so you get your 10 colours and what you do, or, you know, Fabbies, I'm sure other people do it, do those jelly rolls, designer rolls, um, that have all different colours because you're going to cut width of fabric. Do so you need them, the width of fabric? Two and a half metres. Oh, apparently I'm keep freezing on someone else's now. I do need, I need a haircut, not some hair gel. I need a haircut. It's blooming lockdown hair, lockdown fat, lockdown sty. Hello, Kim, my love. Oh, Helen says at last I found you. Was that difficult to find? Becky says she's back. He's in South End. Shut up. John's watching and singing John. Right. So what you do is you cut all your strips. You only need width of fabric, two and a half inches. All your different colours, right? Now, what I've got here is I've got a threaders shape creator. And I, I literally just cut them all. I'll show you more about this later because the angle, the, the camera's on the wrong angle. I'll show you when I do more cutting later. Oh, it's cloudy in Durham. That's good. Cloudy in Cardiff. Good. I don't feel quite so bad then. So what you do is you cut a strip of every single of the 10 colours. Of your 10 colours, you cut a two and a half inch strip. I'll just cut her very quickly. Cut another one here of the purple. So that I've got two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. I'll show you what I'm using in a minute. I'll show you what I'm using here, but basically. So what you do, so we've just got two. So you want 10 strips, all different colours, all two and a half inches wide, all width of fabric. And then it's very simple. All you do, Leon C, that's not near me. Hello, Sir Carlos. How are you, my lovely? Kathy Sir Carlos. I'm coming from Stoke-on-Trent. It's really good to see you show that. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry I'm back to front, and I'm sorry I've got a sty, and I'm sorry I'm so fat, but you know what I mean, it's locked down for, isn't it? And then you literally, now I'm going to move my mug, don't worry, that will be available at special offer Tuesday on my Tuesday morning show, 8 o'clock. Oh, and I'll tell you about this very quickly. When I was about 14, I wanted a gerbil for my birthday, right? I was desperate to have a gerbil. I was very young, a very young 14 and my mum my mum decided I had to have an identity bracelet. And I didn't want an identity bracelet, but she decided I was going to have one, right? 
cleaning out the cupboard here, which you'll see in a minute when I turn the camera around, I only found, look, my identity bracelet. Oh, Lizzie said, what are you making? Ben's watching. Oh, now Ben. Ben was flirting with someone yesterday, I heard. Right. Look, this is what I'm making, Lizzie. A bargello rainbow. Bargello rainbow. That's what I'm making for your window to say thank you to the NHS. So then what you do is you literally get your long strips like this and you sew them together. Now, the tip here is you sew them together two at a time, right? Two at a time, right? Don't sew them all together, 10 in a row like that, because you'll get banana-ring, as Jane Olcott calls it. And you literally, I'm going to here now. Oh, I know, I can use the sewing machine over there. No. Literally, you're sewing these together with your quarter-inch seam allowance, and you just stitch them together. Don't go too fast. Take your time, and you literally, I'm not, don't worry, I'm not going to spend the whole time sewing strips together. But with your quarter inch seam allowance, you literally stitch both of those together. Take your time, don't pull it, don't stretch it, don't force it through anything, you literally just go right the way down. In fact, that's enough, I'm not going to do that because it'll be too boring for you. Okay, so you've stitched all of your strips into pairs, right? You've just stitched them into pairs with your quarter inch seam allowance. And then what you do is then, so that means you've got 10 altogether. So then you've got five of these. So then you put the first two with the second two. You put the third two with the fourth two, and then you've got two left over. Then you put the two fours together, and then you add the two on the end. And then you end up with this. This is what you end up with. Now, it doesn't matter which order you do your colours in. I'm sorry, it's back to front. Doesn't matter which colour you do. But all, and also, don't worry about the ends all being uneven like that, because you're going to square it all off in a second. Right, so once you've done that, you then take the last two here, and you stitch those two together. And that's really, really important. Oh, no, I need to tell you this. When you press it, first of all, you see how you've pressed it here? You press two out two in two out two in do you see what i mean so that one goes in that one goes in that one goes out that one goes out and it's a it's a hassle at the time right you're thinking oh i've got to do that it's so it helps so much when you come to stitch it all together with the fabric yeah with the fabric two and a half inches they are uh right then, then you put you together here like this now what you do need to do is don't just put don't just match these two ends together and go, all right, oh, that's right, that's right, because you could end up with a twisted thing. What you need to do is you need to, because you're putting it into a tube, you just need to shake it out and you'll see where it wants to start. Hang on a second, there we go. You'll see where it wants to start, okay? So now all I'm going to do Get that even. There we go. All I'm going to do now is I'm just going to stitch down that last row. Oh, it's not hanging properly. So look. There you go. You're just going to stitch down your last line of stitches there. So it's nice and, and it turns into a lovely tube. Come on, John. There we go. Right. Now I do need to stitch this one while you're here because obviously we need to move on from this section. Again, quarter inch seam allowance. Now this is going to be a bit boring. I'm just going to have to do a width of fabrics seam all the way along. I'm praying that my needle doesn't break because I went to put a new needle in yesterday and can I find my packed needles? No. Can't find them anywhere. Okay, so what you do is you just stitch all the way down. Sorry, it's a bit boring. Let me speed up a bit. Yeah. 
got a bit wonky at the end. Is that just because I'm rushing? Right, okay. Right, okay, so that's what you end up with like that. That's what you end up with. Now, what you do next <clears throat> is you give each of your colours... Now, this is where it's going to get difficult because it's going to be back to front, right? You give each of your colours a number. So all of my colours there have got a number. Now, what you have to remember is, you see on this one here, I think that red is the dominant one in this one because you see how red is the top... Whatever this colour is that you want to be there, and then going round from the top down, that has to be number six, right? I've done pink on the one I'm doing here, but that has to be number six, just so you know. Right, then what you do, now this is where it gets uh, complicated, is you need to, right, now this is where I need to change my camera angle. Right, are you with me now? Yeah, here we go. So this is your shape creator here. You'll have seen these before. Creative Grids do one called Stripology and June Taylor does one as well, doesn't she? Now you what you need to do is you just need to square off your end. So we're going to just pop that underneath here. Now I've not got much room here. Right, line this up. So you line up your uh, straight line across the bottom and you can just Get the blade out. Right, so we've just squared off the end. Look, so it's really, really straight and clean and neat. Then we turn it round. And what we do is we now cut different sized strips going this way of the pieces. So we line this up again here, right way up. Machine up right. So you line up naught with your edge, and you line up your seam. There we go. Right, now this is where it gets important because these are the size of the strips. This is where you need your piece of paper. And your pen, right? Now, this is going to be back to front. I do apologise. Right, so you need to cut one. The first one is an inch wide. The second one is an inch wide. The third one is one and a half inches wide. Some of it's hilarious. What are you talking about? What book am I reading, John? That's uh, The Clever Guts Diet. Look, it's all back to front. I do apologise. Anyway, listen, concentrate. One inch, one inch, one and a half inch. Then a two inch, then a two and a half inch, then a three and a half inch, five inch, and that's the one that you, you, that you want at the top of it. Then you cut another three and a half, another two and a half, oops, another two, a one and a half, a one and a one. And now what you're thinking, you're thinking, why didn't you just cut four ones at the top? It's just that this means they're in the right order when you come to do them. So let me just cut some of those. I want to sit and cut them all. So the first one is... An inch, right? Oh, didn't close my blade. Right, so let's just move the ruler down a bit. Okay, so the first one is from the naught. There's the naught. Yep. So the first one is an inch. The second one is an inch. The third one is an inch and a half. The next one is two inches. One, two, three, four. The next one's two and a half inches. So we go one, two, three, four, five. Because these are half inch increments, you see. The next one is three and a half. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then the next one is five which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I haven't left enough room because it's not. Anyway, I'll show you, look, right? So just take that away. Take that away. So now, can you see here? You've got your three and a half, your two and a half, your two, your one and a half. Right, I'll hold them up. Look. So you have a strip of two and a half. Now, they're all green at the top, you see? They're all green there. They're all green there. And these are your different width to make your bargello with. 
Then what you do is you take your numbered pieces. So you, what the first thing you've got to do is you have to unpick between number 10 and number one, right? So this is number 10. This is number one. Actually, I can bring you back here now. I'll bring you back here, that'll be neat. There we go. Oh, Mikey's watching. No classes today, Mikey. So this is number 10. And this is number one on your sheet here. Oh, actually, Mikey will be able to help me later on with the um, why I couldn't turn my camera around today. Right, so then you get your quick unpick and you literally unpick between 10 and one. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. that's your numbers there, and you lay that down. Then the next one, you unpick between number one and number two. So you know that that's number one, and you know that that's number two, because of your sheet here, and you unpick between those. Be careful where you're unpicking, because you don't want to stretch it, especially these little narrow ones, because these are only an inch wide, don't they? And then you literally um, place that one up there, and that one goes there. And then the next one, you unpick between uh, two and three. You unpick between two and three, which is that one and that one. I know it seems a bit laborious and boring, but and sorry I'm not reading any messages at the moment, I'm just concentrating on this one. So that one goes there like that. Then the next one, you unpick between three and four. You've got the gist of this now. So three and four of those two then. I'm just Jane Alcock sitting at home going, oh, he's making such a dog's dinner of this. Okay. There we go. Then the next one, you, you, you do between four and five. I know this is boring, I'll stop in a minute. So four is magenta and purple. There you go, that's that one. that way up there we go oh oh now i've made a mistake oh no 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 that's right that's right, that's right there we go that's right and then the next one you do between five and six which is just like that's as far as i've gone it's very quiet concentrating okay this is where i'd be if we're at saying quarter i'd be wittering away so now i'm just gonna i don't know if you'll be able to see this right but look We've got the startings of Can you see that there? Oh, what's my finger in the way? There you go. We've got the startings of a rainbow. Now let me just show you. I've got one here I've already made. Or half made anyway. So, so look. That's there, that goes like that. So the pink, then we have the pink magenta, that way up. Then we have the um, that one, we have the purple. Then we have the blue. So what you've done is you've laid them all out like this there we go now am i going to make a mess this again here we go look watch i can't afford to have two cameras you see there you go so you see how you've got it laid out and then all you do is you just stitch the next one now again you do it in twos do it in twos like you did the other one so you literally take one of this one of this Now, the reason you've done, remember I said at the beginning, make sure you press two out and two in, two out and two in. Because what happens was, you see here, when you come to stitch them together, these seams are going to nestle, can you see there? Or nest, do they call it? The seams are going to nest together as you go along, one going in each direction. Now, if you want to pin it, if you want to pin it, you can do. Sometimes it's more of a hindrance than a help, but if you're new to it, 
you can pin it, <coughs> excuse me, pop your pin diagonally across the seam like this. Uh, and what you do is, you, well, if you want to make sure they're going to be exactly, exactly, exactly on point, you get your seams like this, you get a pin, oops, you get a pin and you pop the pin through the stitches on that side and make sure, or well, they're not, that one's not, you see, so you need to, you need to move it so it nestles more, nests more, like that. You see, once you know you've got them exactly in place, pop your pin in. I'm not going to do it now because it's great. And you just literally sew along each one. Do it in pairs, first of all, and then slowly and keep them in order. That's why we do it like this on the table. So you keep them, always keep them in order. Stitch along, press it open. And then as you, so I've already done just over half of this one, you see. Now, can you see this one's different because I did red at the top of this one, whereas the one I cut out had pink at the top of it. And then you just create your rainbow. Your Bargello rainbow. Now, if you're doing a Bargello quilt, <coughs> excuse me, you obviously do more than 10, you keep going. And what happens is, well, I'll show you on the one Jane. I'll show you on the one Jane, maybe. Right? If you do, you just carry on going. You see how it creates different shapes. Now, there are all sorts of different patterns you can use. They're all the same technique. They're all the same sewing strips together and cutting them into different sections but um oh bad boy always put your blade away or i'm i was telling the designers all the time on sun so i was like put your blade away put your blade away because i haven't done it like that so that's how you do it that's how you do it and you can have a lovely little um rainbow bargella i'm just bringing you a bit closer now so i can read your messages oh look what happens after pick i'm picking five and six you keep going seven to eight eight to nine nine to ten cheeky mare She's rude asking questions. Oh no, what have I done now? Oh look, <laughs> that shouldn't have happened. I told you it was all going wrong today, didn't I? How do I get it back? Excuse me a minute while I get this back. Oh, can somebody tell me how to get it back now? No, oh, uh, no. It's a new iPad. Hello, Scooter. Everyone's laughing at me now because I can't get it to go back to where it's supposed to be. Hang on. No, it's not it. I'm just clicking on everything. There you go. Got it, got it, got it. Honestly, what a mess. Which is what's my machine? It's an Elner 680 Plus. I'll show you. I'll turn it around now. Mm. Let's just try and be a bit more professional about this. I'm sorry it's back to front. But that's my sewing machine there. All right, Scooter, how are you, my love? It's been a dreadful morning this morning. Uh, you've caught a... Yes, I have. But I... No, 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 I didn't go backwards and forwards, but I left the blade open. I was using a 60 this morning as well, look. Oh, Donna, that's cheered Donna up. That's good. Oh, now someone said that was a very clear demo. Carmelia, thank you so much. It's a load of old fabric. Turn the camera icon. I've done that. I've done that. I'm back now. I'm back now. I'm back now. It's just like in my home. What a mess. Do you think it's a mess? Clean your cutting board. It's not actually mine. I couldn't find mine. So I borrowed Chris's from next door. Uh, I love this. Him who wasn't sure how much he would like quilting in the form life. Now he's teaching it. Oh, Georgina's watching. Georgina's one of the... Back, not back to front. Georgina's one of the team making the scrubs. Anna's birthday today. Happy birthday, Anna, my love. Sandra Sakalas. Your numbers were the right way round. Your numbers were right way round when you lost it. Oh, I, I'll have to sort it out. Hello, Pam Minihani. Thank you ever so much. Where's the finished one? There's the finished one. The one that's got to go back in my window. I was taking it down earlier. You need 60 new blades. Can you show your A4 piece of paper with the fabric and the numbers? Of course I will. Um... What size is it finished? Oh, I don't know. Let me have a look. All I have to do is add some rainbow colour. Yeah, that, and I think you need a little bit more than a fat quarter of each, don't you? It's like you can't do it with a fat quarter of each, I'm afraid. Oh, uh, uh, Lowe's going to have a go at it now. Right, the finished... Oh, no, right. It measures 23 inches, but remember, you're going to take quarter of an inch off end. So it'll be 22 and a half wide finished by... Mm, 20 and a quarter finished, 20 and a quarter. 
Thank you, Wendy. It's <laughs> a bit rubbish, that. What should we make next week? Now, don't forget, on a Tuesday morning, I do a little um, sunrise special. This is the sun I shouldn't tell you. This is the sun Now, back to front, isn't it? Back now, that's all right, Anne. You can watch it later. Watch it later. Um, there's a special offer on the mugs. They're back in stock if you want a John Scott mug. Oh, good. Emma, it's ever so easy, really. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. Uh, got the rainbow panel from your birthday show. Oh, use that. That'd be perfect. If you got the birthday panels, uh, the panel, the, the jelly roll panel from my birthday show on um, Sound Quarter last year. God, that must, that's nearly a year ago. Do you realise? It's nearly a year ago. So we May the what now? May the 4th or something. It's not May the 4th, is it? No, it's May the 3rd. May the 3rd. Good. Oh, have a go. Go, have a go. Have a go. Oh, you've only done in Tapestry. No, it is good in Tapestry. That's where it came from, isn't it? Don't do it while you're drinking gin. Uh, Robbie says, lovely to see on the screen again. A log cabin. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'll not do a quilt next week. Maybe I'll do Oh, I know. Should we do a Louisa? Should we do a Louisa got hand stitch next week? Can you do a recap on the masks? I forgot what said. Yeah, before I do that, somebody wanted to see this. Somebody wants to see this and the one with the fabric on. Right, this is, these are the sizes of the strips that you need to cut, right? Right. One inch, one inch, one and a half inch. I didn't buy a jelly roll. Uh, oh no, Joanne, that's not me, sorry. One inch, one inch, one and a half inch, two inch, two and a half inch, three and a half inch, five inch, Three and a half, two and a half, two, one and a half, one, one. I'll show you. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing in the finished thing here. Here we go. So it goes one. What now? Obviously that. Oh look, it's coming unstitched. That's a one, but because you've taken a quarter of an inch off each side, it ends up as half an inch. As that one will end up as half an inch when you put your seam on. So it's so it goes like this. It goes one, one, one and a half two, two and a half, three and a half. The middle one, you only cut one of those five. Then it goes three and a half, two and a half, two, one and a half, one. If, you, if you're confused, I'll put it. Can you put a pic of cutting? Oh, Louisa got project. Cutting diet tins on your page. I don't know what that means, Kathy, but I'll put, I'll put a picture of the, the measurements on there. And then, I don't know, where's the put the um? Where's I put the one with the fabrics? Oh, there it is on the floor. And then I just numbered my fabrics like this, right? So I knew which one... Hang on, it stopped again. What are you doing for VA day? Oh, I think we're all putting bunting outside our house, aren't we? Uh, make a new ironing board cover and matching peg back. Oh, are you? I'm not the quilt of our family. My mum is, but watched enjoying you. Have a jelly roll upstairs. I didn't see. You can use the jelly roll. Hello, Ivan, my love. You need at least a 10-inch width the fabric piece of each colour to make a small quilt. I used half a metre of each to make... Oh, Jane, I can't... Oh, to make mine, right? To make my big one that Jane made me, she just used half a metre. So you only need 10 inches. So there's me saying a, a fat quarter wouldn't be big enough. Would a, Jane, would a fat quarter be big enough? If you had 10 fat quarters, would you be able to make that one that I've just done there? Yeah, we'll do Louisa's EPP next week then. All right, we'll definitely do that. I'll have to buy some needles though, won't I? Uh, so look, the only reason I did this, because you can do the colours in whatever order you want to do them, but the only reason I did this, because I knew at the beginning I had to slice between number 10 and number 1, and then the next one was between 1 and 2, and the next one was between 2 and 3, and it just keeps you... It, people, it's not the things aren't moving now. Oh, directions. Yeah, I'll put the directions up for you, don't worry. Tantric yoga? I don't think so. Not on a Sunday morning. Uh, Lynn, welcome. We'll dig one out. Change. Oh, yes. I don't know. Cutting directions. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. Melissa, hello, my love. Oh, there's loads of people. For some reason, the things stop going like this. Rainbow bunting will look lovely. I think we're doing red, white and blue bunting, actually, in our village. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll find out. So I'll put this. I'll put a picture of this. And I'll put, I'll put this on my Facebook page later. I'll also put the details of this, which was the ruler I used, which is back to front, obviously. It doesn't just do strips, look, it does all this, but I'll put the link for that on my Facebook page later as well. And then these are Tuesday. Oh, this is Tuesday. Special offer, eight o'clock. Can you make some sort of cap hat? Can you make some sort of cap hat? Oh, hang on. 
Oh, Georgina. Did you see Georgina's film on Facebook? She shaved her head. She had all this hair. She shaved her head. And I can't remember what it, which charity it was for, but it was to go to the NHS, I think, wasn't it? But it wasn't it some fireman or rugby, a rugby group or something like that. Um, oh, now Lorraine says, the gift I've sent you will be a nice project for one week. Well, I haven't got it yet, so I'll have to look. Whose birthday is it? Who clicked on the wrong comment? Uh, happy birthday. Whose birthday is it? Oh, Fiona. Happy birthday, Fiona. I missed that one. Sorry. Happy birthday, Fiona. Um, what's got somebody else? Oh, the mask. Did somebody ask about the mask, right? Red. Oh, look, Nikki's doing red, white and blue. Hello, Jamal. How are you, my love? Uh, you'd have to cut double the slice. Oh, okay. So, so if you did it in fat quarter, you'd have to cut two of each colour, right? You'd have to cut two of each colour if you've got fat quarter. Yeah, Penny's doing red, white and blue. She's doing down her end of the village, I hear. I hear. Um, yes, she is very brave, Georgina. Well done. And she looked much better with... No offence, but she looked much better with her hair all shaved off. Um, right, somebody just asked about the mask, right? Oh, Jackie Flackety, just woken up on a Sunday morning. That's nice. The rest of the family, very sporty. They've all gone out on their bikes and jogging and everything. Jackie Flackety's just sitting there eating pan au chocolat. Is that sheep picking here in the background? It is. Uh, they were fed early today. Yeah, they were fed early, so they're not making that much noise. Last night, they were making noises like cows, and I didn't know what was going on. Right, okay, so Karen said for the mask, right? So what you do is, do you want me to just quickly check? I don't know if I've got one here. This was the mask I made. Now, these are not NHS. These are not NHS recognised. These are just for your own personal... Jeremy Joe's watching. These are just for your own personal usage, right? So you get a, 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 three pieces of fabric, nine inches by six inches. So it's nine inches across, six inches down. What have you got behind you, Eileen? Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, I've got my glasses on there. Oh, the lambs have grown now. Wait, wait yourself, Wendy. Look. Uh, Georgina, £75,800 is what she raised. That was an all from just shaving your head, surely. Brilliant. Aren't people generous? Aren't people so... Like, start Dulces, helping dress medics. She's got 80 odd thousand pounds already. I know, it's just fantastic. I mean, in theory, we shouldn't have to do it. I'm not going to get political. In theory, they should be looked after and have enough stuff. But anyway, so this, nine inches by six inches, three layers of fabric. You want the two fab fabrics that you see here. Oh yeah, catch up later, Sue. It was, a, I was making this, Sue. I've been making that today. Right, what's the length of each strip, Lorraine? Well, uh, 20 inches, 20 inches it must be. Must be 20 inches. Uh, but I did whip the fabric and you have some left over. Right, so this, nine inches, I'm not gonna shave my head now, can you imagine what I'd look like? Right, nine inches by six inches, what you do, is you get, I haven't got one half made. No, I haven't got one half made to show you. Right, so you have at nine inches by six inches. You put the le middle layer, now the middle layer can be uh, anything. Uh, what the one I learned, I've learned from said, um, oh, there you go, look, Elizabeth NHS group, making masks by request, you see. Making a, then these are not, these are not to be used in hospitals. These are just for personal use, right? Nine by six inches, two layers of fabric, one, two, and then the one that goes in the middle, I was told to use flannel, but it was a bit thick. So I just used like a very fine calico. You can use interfacing, but do not use the iron-on fuse bond because you'll be breathing in um, glue. There is an NHS recognised fusible one, to, uh, um, interfacing to go on if you want to. Lisa Lamb suggests you sew the elastic horizontally instead of vertically, so it's around your head instead of your ears. Oh, you can do, you can do. The thing is, right, everyone's having trouble getting elastic. So what I'm gonna say, to, I'll tell you how I did this one. Nine by six, you put the main fabric there with the calico behind it. You then put your elastic like that and like that. They're seven, seven inches in length, these. Then you put the other one face down, sew all around the outside, apart from at the end, two inches at the end there. You pull it through, uh, then you've got a nine by six inch, and then you literally just put little knife pleats in. So the finished thing is nine by three inches. Now I know that the, oh, please make sure you've washed your fabric first. Where, oh, there's a little robin there. There's a robin that always comes and sits on my little table outside. Um, the rugby boys are good too. Oh yes, Maureen, indeed. I used to train with the English rugby team, you know, in, in back in the day. Anyway, so then what you do is you do your little knife pleat, so your finished thing is three inches long by nine inches, then you top stitch around the outside, which see, closes the seam at the end and also holds all the pleats in the thing. But you don't want to stitch the pleats a long way because you want them, when you've got it on, you need it to be able to do that. So it goes over your nose and your mouth as well. See what I mean? 
Now, what Lisa Lamb was saying was don't put elastic round like that. Put elastic going round in a long, so they don't have to put it round their ears. They pull it on over their heads like that. But I also know that elastic is really, really difficult to get hold of at the moment, isn't it? So if you were just to do ties, long ties, coming out of each of the corners there, then they can tie it around their heads like that and they don't have to worry about elastic or anything like that. I love when it's nearby when a robin appears. This robin's here all the time and it's a little girl because it's a fat one and I'm not being, I'm not being rude, but it, apparently in the robin world, the little fat ones are ladies and the skinny ones are the boys because they've all got red breasts, haven't they? I don't know why I went like that then. I do apologise. Um, so that was that. Now, have you got any more questions before I go? Yeah, like the yeah, Lo sent me a tutorial on how to do that. Yeah, with, with the with the um, ties ones on it. Yeah. Um, anything else you need to know? Before I, go? I don't even know what time it is. The clock doesn't come up on here. Um, so anything else you need to know? So don't forget, you can catch me on a Tuesday morning at eight o'clock when I do my sunrise special. This week it's the mugs. If you haven't already got them. Uh, Thursday morning at 10 o'clock, we have a good old gossip on uh, what's happened on Sewing Bee the night before. As you know, my friend Mark is in it. Uh, he got um, Sew of the Week this week, if you haven't watched it. Um, so we told 8 o'clock on a Tuesday is this, just for half an hour. Then on Thursday at 10 o'clock, we do Great British Sewing Bee chatter it, chatting. Uh, and Susan, it's gone down lots, look. It's gone down lots just while I've been chatting to you, so I think that's all I needed. Oh, it's 11.48, I better go. You can make the ties from one-inch slices of an old T-shirt. Oh, yes, I heard that one, Helen. I heard that one. As long as they can withstand a hot wash. Where will I find the tutorial, please, that uh, Lowe sent you? Uh, oh, I don't think I put it out anywhere. I just kind of said, I'll see if I can find it and post. Unless Lowe posts it. If Lowe posts it, then I'll I'll share it again. Uh Anyone can do anyone that can fix your sewing machine? Oh no, because they'll all be shut, won't they? The sewing machine shops. Mind you, people are fixing bikes, I've noticed, across the road. I know Mark, because I knew his husband Clive before I knew Mark. They live locally, they live uh, near me. Uh scrub hats, please. What does that mean, Barbara? I did scrub hat. I can't do them now. Oh, actually, I've got one here, very quickly. Um, if you send me your email address, I'll send you the pattern for scrub hats. Oh, no. I'll be back in a minute, look. So this is a scrub hat I made. I did this, um, oh actually, it'll be going on YouTube this week. This is one I made earlier. And they tie it around the back like that. So if you email me, right, uh, I'll send you this, it's a PDF, right? There are your pattern pieces. And then, and what you need to do, I know it's back to front today. What you need to do is you need to make sure when you print it up that that bit there is actually five centimetres so you can see that your um, printer is printing up. Uh, what am I trying to say? So you can see that your, uh, uh, your machine is printing up, right? Then what you do is you cut them out. So that's your A, that's your back. And then you stick these three together to create your front there. And then what it is is this, you cut it on the fold, obviously. That's that bit there. And then the, the roundy bit goes on the back like that. But I've done a, um, a YouTube. Oh, hang on. So um, cut the T-shirts in one inch strips. They form a round, making soft ties. Oh, that's nice, Wendy. Thank you. Um, so that's scrub hats. How, uh, I've done that one, done that one. Right, in that case, I'm going. If there's no more questions, I could do another cup of coffee now. I've been a bit rushed this morning. Um, I'll see you. So what day is it today? Sunday. Have a lovely day. Stay safe. Uh, keep those you love safe and well. And I'm going to go and put my rainbow back in the window. And then, oh, hang on, there's loads of messages coming. Hang on. Where we see the tutorial with the ties. I haven't done that one. Loves the Thursday gossip, says Sandra. Uh, just a question about how we get the mug, because I'll be at work. Oh, yes. Um, if you look at my Facebook page on Monday night, there'll be a link to go and buy it. Um... And it'll still be there on the, as long as they well, no, no, because I know we ordered enough. I know we've ordered enough of these because they sell out in their hundreds, these do. Uh, it'll be on my Facebook page, on both my Facebook page on Monday night. And they'll be there Tuesday, Wednesday as well. So you better order them that way. Uh, thank you, Joe, my love. Can I ask why 10 colours for the Bargello when there are only seven in the rainbow? Well, if you only did seven, your rainbow would be a bit like that, wouldn't it? You'd be three rows short. So it would be more squidged up, wouldn't it? If you think about it. Be more squidged up. Oh, no, it wouldn't be squidged up. It would be shallower, wouldn't it? It would be shallower. If you only had seven colours, 
That's how, that's how big it would be. Oh no, hang on, no, it wouldn't. Oh, I don't know why it's only. Oh, because it's got to be 10 across. Because it's got to be, has it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, no, it's 13 across. Oh, I don't know the answer to that one. Lisa, good question. Don't know. Maybe Jane will know the answer. Thank you, Karen, my love. Did I forget to do any question? I've been watching since the first series of Sony says Wendy. Oh, Sue's watching, Lynn's watching. Hello, Lynn, Mary, my love. That's right, Helen, you can always catch up. Oh, um, oh, I've got a message from my next door neighbour. I'll, um, I'll have a look at that in a minute. Thank you. Oh, I, I'm not getting, I'm, I'm enjoying it. You know, this is the highlight of my week doing these. Um, David Drummond in Edinburgh can arrange a courier to collect the machine for servicing. Oh, there you go. If you're nearby. Uh, Lynn says, thank you. You're a brilliant. I did do teach training. I am, I am a trained teacher. That's what I did first. My first degree is in teaching English and drama. Wendy says, I look fabulous. Thank you. Apart from my blooming eye. Uh, right, hang on, Dawn. Email address, please. Info. Info at johnscottsewingworld.com. Info at johnscottsewingworld.com. Um That'll be the uh, uh, info at johnscottsoneworld.com. Yeah, there's two T's, two S's. Two T's, two S's. That's the email address. Ve oh, now, Rosemary says it is very, very important to check that the five centimetres is five centimetres. Because, obviously, if it's not, it'll make it too small. The cutting grid. I'll put the cutting grid. Oh, yes, I'll do. I'll put that. I'll put the cutting grid on my page later. Do you mean this? No, not that. I'll find it. I'll find it. You mean the piece of paper with all the sizes on? This, you mean? I'll put that. I'll put that. Jan, I'll put that on my Facebook page, don't I? Uh, Stephanie, thank you so much. How is the paper round? Oh, yeah, the paper round. And the shop. Oh, Monday. I'm in the pop-in. I do my shift in the pop-in on a Monday morning, 10 till 12. Paper round's going fine. Um, it's milk and bread as well. I do milk and bread. Uh, you can buy a T-shirt yarn that I use for crochet. Look after have a Will Marion. Thank you. Uh, oh, David Drummond. Someone else saying David Drummond in Edinburgh for the um, sewing machine service. That's good. It, I can't tell you how much it's settled down already, Karen. Thank you. What am I going to do with the rest of my day? I don't really know. I've got to clean my cooker. Thank goodness I didn't twist my camera completely round because the cooker down there is an app. Look, I'll show you. The cooker down. Oh, the cooker down there is a right old mess. Needs a good old cleaning. You nearly saw this. This is what I use as my stand. It's a wine cooler from Norway. I know. Um, it's a moose, that. I think it's made from moose horn or something like that. Uh, anyway, so I think, I don't know what, I don't know what else I'm doing. Oh, now, oh, that's right, Lynn, that's fine. Uh, it's the pattern of Bargello that uses 10 fabrics. We thought it'd be nice in rainbow colours when we did it on the quarter. Yeah, that's what I've nicked it from. That's what I've nicked it from. Uh, hang on, what else has Jane got to say? Right, hang on. Uh, you can do it in any colours you wish. Looks really nice in two colours, five shades of each. Oh, that's nice. But why do you need ten, Jane? Jane, why do you need ten colours? That's what we don't know. Bye, Shahina. Uh, bye, Barbara. Bye, Maureen. Bye, Marcia. Bye, Amanda. Bye, Laurie. Oh, Patricia's just arrived. A bit late. Keep safe. Take care. That's Catherine. Thank you, Jackie, my love. Thank you, Jean Jeanette. Uh, uh, lovely demonstration. Thank you so much. See you later, Lady Jasmine. Uh, oh, now Karen also has her frothy coffee in my mug. Oh, Marcia. Bye, my love. How, take care. She's got, Marcia lives in Southport. She's from Brazil. She's got a lovely husband called Ewan. Uh, Carmela, Helen. I oh, will have a lovely day. See, on Tuesday, why do I start cutting from 10 to 1? Well, you, no, no, you can cut. You can, you can slice wherever you want. I just did 10 to 1 because I wanted the pink to be at the top. That was all. But you could start anywhere you like. You could start between 8 and 9 if you wanted to. You don't have to start anyway. Where's the cutting grid from? Oh, this. This is Crafter's Companion. It's the Threaders Crafter's Companion. It's called, I'll put the link on my Facebook page later. I'm going to be busy doing all this, aren't I, in a minute. At uh, G&T time, oh, already. Uh, do you have a PDF pattern for the masks? No, I don't, but I will have, I will have uh, on YouTube this week. Uh, Jane's already answered. Did she answer why we needed 10? Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, sorry, James, I missed that answer. Uh, what do we need for Sunday? Coffee. Bye. Uh, it wouldn't make rainbow. Uh, you need to get the other colours off the curve. Oh, there you go. So it wouldn't make the whole shape. That's what it's saying. You didn't have 10. See you on Tuesday, Maxine. See you Tuesday, Joan. 
Thanks, wet yourself, Wendy. Brilliant demo, thank you. Maybe I should be a demo, demonstrator. Will you carry on with this after lockdown? Well, I presume so. Uh, Scooter says, looking forward to seeing you Sunday. I'm going to Scooter's wedding in October. Uh, fingers crossed we can go in October. Uh, I recognise a fellow ex-teacher, same subject as me. Yep, yeah, English and drama. Did at Bretton Hall College in West Yorkshire. Uh, my pleasure, Catherine. My pleasure. Hello, Rachel, my love. John, why not upload your patterns into the file section of your Facebook page? We'll say if you're sending them. Oh, I've got no idea what that means, Derek. You'll have to teach me then. Yeah, I've done that, Jan, for you. What a blast. You can nip into schools. We're not there at the moment, are they, Maureen? Uh, great idea, Derek. Yeah, sorry. And watching. Thank you. I don't mind, Wendy, my love. It's obviously, I'm, I'm having a lovely time. Going to have a go, but starting out should be fun. I haven't said, so, oh, yeah, you be careful. What am I going to have for lunch? I think I'm going to have cheese and olives and gluten-free crackers for my lunch. I think. Not quite sure. Uh, great demo. And now's chat. Yeah, I know. I can't half whittle on. Emma says she loves my house. You should see the mess. Emma, it's, uh, upstairs is gorgeous. Like hotel clean upstairs. Downstairs is dreadful. Um, better late than never. Oh, Linda, you can always catch up later, you know. Watching a memory of a friend who loved watching it. Oh, she sadly passed away in April. Oh, that's sad. Let me just read the rest of that message. You always cheered her up. Oh, who was she, Margaret, my love? Oh, Harry's watching. All right, Harry. Uh, stay safe, Lynn. You're having trouble getting rainbow colours. Our thread is doing rainbow colours. There's rainbow colours at on the Crafters Companion website. They always have the Rose and Hubble, all the colours on the website there. So you can get them from there. Bye, my loves. Take care. Take care. Just if there's any more messages. Yeah, 10, so it makes the curve. Got that by Luscious. Oh, Sarah Ann, I'm just going, my love. I'm ever so sorry. Uh, have a lovely day. Becky Alexander Frost, I need to work out how to stop it making it go blue. Don't have the heart to use your mug. Oh, I would. Use your mug, Carol. Uh, lovely demo. Linda, oh, this is Linda from um, Dynasty. Got your mug earlier. Uh, I love how you say goodbye, you fans. Oh, yeah, no, we're all saying goodbye, don't we? And then we don't go. I'm going to go now. I'm just finish reading the messages. You did, John, did you know when you send emails, if you have a lot of, oh, I don't know what this means, hang on. Jackie says, did you, did you know when you send emails, if you have a lot, use BCC, so everyone doesn't see each other. I don't normally send them out to lots of people, do I? I send them out one at a time. I've had, why have I sent you an email with everyone's email address? I'm sure I haven't. Anyway. It would have been my nana's birthday today. Oh, that's nice. Make some I love an old doily, me. Are you going to sell the latte mugs? We are. Well, we were, but I don't know what's happened with those. Well, I'll sort something out. I will sort something out. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was cheese scones. Liz made cheese scones. That's nice. See you Tuesday, eight o'clock. Lovely. Linda, Emma, Linda Evans got that. Cheese and crackers. Bye. Bye. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything important. Uh, thank you, Anna, my love. Right, oh, Marina's just tuned in. She'll be hungover. Uh, yeah, catch the beginning later. No, has the Rose and Hubble sold out? It shouldn't have done. We had loads of it. Unless everyone has done the same thing. And when they're in lock-in, you know what I mean? It's, um, it's, uh, everyone's just bought it all. I'll find out for you. Lloyd's just joined, just I'm leaving. Lloyd's my friend who um, cycles a lot. Used to have a gym in, in um, send your bracelet and we'll clean it up. I don't know what I've done with it. It's under the pile here somewhere. Thank you. John, BC saves you sending. Oh, saves me sending. So do it to lock. What I do, though, um, Jackie, is I answer them the minute they come in. Because if I don't answer it the minute they come in, I'll forget, you see. Yeah, see you Tuesday, Louise. Husband's 65th today. Oh, she'll be on a river cruise down the Danube. You'll have to dress up in a, in a kind of costume, you know, like and be a wench or something for the day. No, they don't have wenches down the Danube. Danube. Right, I'm going now. Kath, we just got up. Get Jane on the phone on loudspeaker. <laughs> well, I'm sure we can do that thing where you can do split screen. I'm not quite sure. Oh, Karen made marmalade just today. Oh, Marina watched from the beginning and then it died. It's because I've gone on too long. That's why. Uh, see you Tuesday. Lynn, my love. Right. I am going to press the button now, everyone. You can catch up later. Thank you for joining me. Enjoy making your bargello. Enjoy your Sunday. And take care of yourselves. Mwah.